Hi there and welcome to this sound design tutorial. Today we're going to be making a house style chord. So I'm just going to bring up a screenshot of our note pattern today on the screen and then you can just pause the video and copy that into your piano roll. Okay, so now you've got the notes down, we can go ahead with selecting our oscillators and as usual to initialize the synth we just click the new button here. And we're going to leave this VPS in oscillator slot 1, but we're just going to pull down these uh, vertical and horizontal parameters slightly. And then in slot 2 we're going to insert a wavetable oscillator. And for this sound we want to be using this wavetable here called Lima. And then we just push the wavetable blend right up to Lima, so we're not using any of this classic triangle wavetable here. And then we're going to get this chordy sound just by pushing up this uh, coarse tuning by seven semitones. And then finally, in our third oscillator slot here, we're going to insert another VPS oscillator. And we're going to turn down the coarse tuning by 24 semitones to give us some nice sub bass texture. And then we're also going to pull down this vertical parameter slightly. And we're also going to use some noise in this sound. So we just turn on the noise oscillator source here and then push up the frequency right the way to the top and then just switch this to high pass filtering mode. And now we can go into our mixer panel here and get a nice blend of these levels. And now we can go over to our amplitude envelope here and we're just going to pull the sustain right down and then bring in the decay as well. And then in our filter slot here, we're going to insert a dual filter today. And we're going to set this to parallel mode. And we're going to select this steeper low pass filter. And now we're going to use a second envelope just to control this filter here. And we're also going to use this envelope to control some of the horizontal and vertical parameter on this VPS oscillator here. And this is going to give the sound a nice sharp attack.
And similarly, we're going to use this first envelope here to control the vertical parameter of our second VPS oscillator. And now going into our effects panel here, in our first effects slot, we're going to insert a chorus and we're going to use the light chorus sub preset. And then in our second effects slot here, we're just going to insert a reverb. Okay, so that's sounding like a really nice house chord now, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. So you can download the patch we've just made in the video description below, and we'll catch up with you next time.